All right, guys, we're here in the studio with the lovely Anna Logan, and we thought it'd be really interesting to show photographers three of the most common lighting setups that a lot of people use using just one light. You're definitely gonna wanna check this out. So the first lighting setup I wanna talk about is the classic Rembrandt lighting, and it's supposed to emulate kind of the classic painters like Rembrandt who would paint in a way where the light was kind of up high from the ceiling, off to the side, it would create a lot of shadows on one side of the face, but still leave a little bit of light kind of hitting the cheekbone. It wasn't as dramatic as some of the other lighting setups we'll show here in a minute, but it's definitely one you wanna use or know how to use, especially if you're shooting a portrait kind of straight on. That's when it's used most. So one of the classic signs of the Rembrandt lighting is going to be this little highlight on the cheek of the dark side of the face. So right now we have a three foot octobox off to the side. It's producing relatively soft light because it's kind of large, but we are able to position it in a way where we still have some shadows. But if I move this light around, you're gonna be able to see that little highlight on the cheek is going to open up. It's going to disappear. It's gonna to become too much. And I don't know that any of them are really wrong, but if you wanna achieve that really cinematic painterly look, you're going to wanna position it kind of in the spot that we have it now. So let me just go ahead and move this around a little bit. If I was to go further back and Anna looks straight ahead for us, you can now see that it's very easy to get that cheek to go completely dark. I'm talking about right over here. And it almost becomes too side lit where one side of the face is completely in shade while the other one has light on it. If we come right around here is kind of that sweet spot where we start to get a lot of shadow on one side of the face, but there's still a little bit of detail. This is probably where the Rembrandt lighting would normally be. And then if we come too far around, like a true 45 degree angle, which is where I like to shoot a lot of times, now we're, we're still casting some shadows on the cheekbone and under the chin, but because we've brought the light a little bit further around, you can see that Rembrandt lighting style is completely gone. So the magic really is probably right about here, which I would say if, if this is zero degrees and this is 90 degrees, we're probably at a 60 degree angle. So now that we have our softbox in the right place, let's take one shot just so we can reference it later. This video is sponsored by PGY Tech and the OneGo Solo V2 Camera Bag, the ultimate companion for urban photographers and content creators. With its timeless and minimalist design, the OneGo Solo V2 combines style and functionality like never before. Say goodbye to bulky cumbersome bags and hello to effortless shooting experiences on the go. The OneGo Solo V2 is crafted with simplicity in mind, making it easy to access your gear and capture the perfect shot at a moment's notice. The OneGo Solo V2 has been reimagined from the ground up and features a brand new horizontal design, a more convenient zipper, a wider and more comfortable shoulder strap, and brand new compartments to keep you better organized. Designed for the modern photographer, this sleek bag offers just the right amount of space for your essentials without sacrificing comfort or convenience. Whether you're a photographer navigating crowded city streets or filming drone shots in remote landscapes, the OneGo Solo V2 keeps your gear safe and secure so you can focus on capturing the moment. Upgrade your photography game with the OneGo Solo V2 by PGY Tech. Click the link in the description below to get yours today and start experiencing photography without limits. So the next common lighting setup that a lot of people do when shooting a portrait is going to be broad lighting. Now broad lighting is when the model is facing one way or the other and you're lighting the side of the face that's most exposed to the camera. So Anna, what if you kind of look towards me, turn this way, and now if I move our light anywhere in this general area, you can see we're gonna be lighting the side of her face that's most exposed to the camera, the most predominant side of the face or the broad side of the face. And then the side that's further away is going to go into shadow. Now, depending on how far around you move your light, you're either going to light up more of that shadow side, or we could go maybe like somewhere here where that side of the face is going really, really dark. I'm gonna place this kind of in the middle. This is about 45 degree angle. So now if we take a shot right here, you can see it's still very stylized in the sense that we have a lot of shadow on the face. For some people, this might be too much shadow. We're really diminishing or hiding the part of the face that's not towards the camera. And as you go around in your daily lives and look at images in magazines and online, definitely notice this lighting style because it pops up a lot more than you probably realize. So now that we have Rembrandt and broad lighting explained, let's talk about short lighting, which is probably the lighting style that I use the least 
because one, I kind of fail to remember it, and two, it is a very cinematic, dramatic sort of lighting style that a lot of people might not find the most flattering, but it's also, in my opinion, one of the cooler lighting styles. And we can achieve this by keeping Anna looking at the exact same direction. So if we bring the light behind our model and we can kind of feather it, meaning we're going to point it more towards the camera and less towards the background, it's going to create this really moody lighting style where the front of her face is really dark, but then the side of the face that's further away from the camera has the nice highlight. So this is great when you're trying to add a little mystery or trying to make the image just look a little bit more dramatic and you don't want the lighting super flat. It's also nice because we can control the light on our background. In the previous broad lighting, we had all the light hitting the background. It was making our background really bright. But now with short lighting, because the light's kind of coming from behind, we can also control the background a little bit better. So let's go ahead and take one shot here and see how it looks. So as you can see with this image here, it's definitely more moody than the broad lit image, but it's probably not gonna be something that you use for weddings or for beauty work or commercial bright and airy work. But as you can see, it's definitely an interesting lighting style that might cause people to stop and look at your image a little bit longer. With all of these lighting setups, you could also add a second light, kind of from the camera's perspective, and add a little bit more fill. So if you feel like the shadows on any of these are going a little too dark, you could add a second light, turn it barely up, and just allow it to fill in those shadows to kind of find that perfect balance. So there you go, three lighting styles that every photographer needs to know how to do. Rembrandt lighting, short lighting, and broad lighting. Do you have a favorite? Which one did you like the most? Rembrandt. Rembrandt, that's her favorite. I'm sure if we did beauty lighting, you'd like that one too, but that's for another video. If you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We just hit 1 million subscribers. How crazy is that? And if you want to learn from some of the best photographers in the world, check out fstoppers.com slash store, where you can check out our full length tutorials featuring a bunch of different photographers shooting a bunch of different genres. But it's getting cold here. I think we got to get out of here, get some dinner. We will see you guys very soon.